praise thee, I'll praise thee, O Lord. I'll praise thee, O Lord, with my high whole heart. I'll praise thee, I'll praise thee, I'll praise thee, O Lord. I'll praise thee, O Lord, with my high whole heart. I'll praise thee, I'll praise thee, I'll praise thee, O Lord. I'll praise thee, O Lord, with my high whole heart. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. You asked me what about body devotion, and I said, Father, if I get back before me there, I will do it. So I have to keep my promise. He said, even if it's one minute to meet there, I say, yes, Papa, I will do it. Thank you so much for the safe journey, Papa. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You are such an awesome God. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Papa. I could not do this at Manjo because my phone was out of battery. <laughs> like you really wanted to test me, right? Oh, no, you wanted to put me to the test to see. Ah, I'm so grateful for everything from the village to Manjo to Duala, right? Oh, Father God. Ah, my goodness. You are worthy of all my praise. And I cannot take you for granted, Papa. Frankly speaking, I'm so sorry for all the times when I have dared to take you for granted or call your name in vain and all of those kind of things. My special LHM tribe. I hope everyone is doing well. Though. I'm grateful, right? I was in the village of since Friday for a 72-hour chrono and a first quarter retreat, right? The team was intimacy with God. He just gave it to me when I got there. So, yeah, we really spent some really special time together. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a live about this by grace tomorrow as the Lord leads, right? And sharing bits and pieces as we progress. But this is all about morning devotion. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just want to thank you so much for joining me. I want to thank you not only for myself, but for all of us who are in that bus, Father God. And I pray that those who are still in that bus, you are going to take them safely to their respective destinations. I bless you, Lord, for the prudent way in which the driver drove this vehicle. I thank you so much for sparing us from any accidents, Father God. And yes, for bringing me back home safely before midday so I could keep my word to do morning devotion because before midday is still morning. But I give you all the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all the instructions you gave me in the village, for all the knowledge, oh my goodness, for the tools I used and even for the practical lessons, Father God. I just give you all the glory. I wouldn't have had that if I didn't go to that village. And thank you for the grace to overcome even when the devil tried to tempt me one way or the other in this village. I bless your holy name and for all the people whose lives are being touched in one way or the other in this village, Father God, who are coming to me slowly but surely. It's to you, oh Papa. I want to point them to you. Thank you so much that with Mama and Matike we can now pray and hold hands. But uh, this is such a milestone. I give you all the glory for that and for, oh my goodness, for this one person I found in the village who is from my own tribe and we won't, we can even speak some dialect and the peace I can bring to his home, Father God, I give you all the glory. Had I not gone there, would all this have been possible? Father God, may we be sensitive to warning. May we be sensitive to your instructions. May we be sensitive to your Holy Spirit. Right? He did day one and day two and so actually before he even came to thank me yesterday the lord had already whispered to me that you know wednesdays are your days of the week to fast generally so even if you finish today you will still do wednesday and what if you just did thursday and friday right i said yes papa that's beautiful and so before the devil came to want to do that is nonsense yesterday i already had the plan so i spoke to him aloud and i told him you bastard okay to show you that i'm not going to die and that at food is not my god i'm adding three days i'd already discussed that with my father do your worst yes i will and so somebody should be inspired and motivated and he can just die when he sees somebody who is set aside like myself so he tries in all ways possible oh my goodness my victory is my testimony i now see why sometimes uh, my bishop just looks at me and she smiles i've been there so i've seen her also in action i know and it's not these things on the neck that will mean anything to me. They have been much more pronounced than this. No. Uh-uh. I refuse. You need to stay sensitive. Why? Because according to 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 19. Because your heart was tender and you humbled yourself before the Lord. When you heard what I spoke against this place and against its inhabitants. That they should become a desolation and a curse. 
and you have torn your clothes and wept before me, I truly have heard you, declares the Lord. So the Lord truly hears people who are humble and contrite. People who just take his word and just cry out for mercy. At all the time, you don't need to have committed a grievous sin, fornicated, done adultery, killed someone, lied, all of that. But we always, I remember when I called his name in vain, the chastisement was like immediate. I knew by 5 p.m. that I'm in for trouble. And so when I finished praying at midnight and he said, go and sit on that chair, me, I knew that there was trouble coming there. The way the electric shock I got on that chair, no, 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 I've never got that kind of shock on any other thing in my life. I had to beg God, I cried out for mercy. And he told me, go and print the Ten Commandments. You put them up everywhere. Remember, anyone you break, you have broken. And it, it, it grieves me. It, it kindles my anger. And I can deal with whoever the way I want. My wrath, especially to those who have put their hands on the plow. To whom much is given, much is expected. So if you want to be this sensitive, if you want your spiritual antenna to be connected to God, oh my friend, you better be careful and check yourself every day. What Even your thoughts. I rebuke the bastard. Even the way he was trying to come at my thoughts. That's where he starts with your thoughts. I was like, you fool. Who do you think you are? Loser like you. You remember when he tempted Jesus? The third one was that. Or is it the second one or the third one? All of this has been given to me. So I give to who I want. So he did not even have me. He did not create the world. So if it has been given to him, who is he to be giving it to other people? Do you think it can be permanent? So why would I even not go directly to the person who gave you? I'm allowing you to fool around with me. Look, I've come back very fired and wounded. Like, oh my goodness, Father, help me. Okay, so many despise being warned. And they perish. You know, some people would think that so. Some people say, do you know for how many years I've been serving the Lord? Do you know who I am? Do you know my title? Oh, an ass. An ass spoke to Balaam. An ass. Who was an ass? Was the ass born again? How many years had the ass been in the service of the Lord or a child of God? Huh? But when Balaam was trying to ignore the ass, that's when his eyes were open and he saw the angel of the Lord. And he started being so sorry. So do not despise Anybody can look, even my son has been used not only to, to chastise me but also to wake me up. My son, my last son, and I even shouted at him. And after that, the, the spirit said, You go and wake him up and apologize to him. And I did that very humbly. So you need to be humble. Either as a child of God, a servant of God, be humble. I'm reading some books here. Oh my goodness, one of them I had to study, another one hey, I can read and make notes you know stuff like that these are people who have been serving the lord for 30 years and when i still read that was 2017 the last edition so if you count 30 years from 2017 i don't know how far you go but that's not 2000 that might be 2000 or that might be 1987 something like that but the the language there is language that you read and there's language that you read when i read i'm a writer you see humility flowing in his language and his prayer he shares even his devotions and all those things but this is not a name that you're going to see on YouTube and wherever. I'm like, but I had once met someone like this in real life. So I know that the people like this who carry such unction on them, but you will not see them on YouTube and with mega churches and all of those things. 30 plus years later, the man still has such humility in his writing. Oh my goodness. Some other people, they have arrived. Ha, huh, okay. Oh. Many despise being warned and they perish. Happy is he who trembles at the word of God. Tremble. Walk your salvation with fear and trembling. Be you who, Archbishop Duncan Williams, whoever, whoever, the Lord says I can be calling names. You have to walk your salvation with fear and trembling. I'm not saying that he doesn't, but I'm just saying that even if you are the one. You know some of those people that people will lord you until as if you are now God. You know stuff like that. Stay humble. It's not because I'm going to the village and I'm talking like this. Even if I was going to wherever. The Lord knows I've been everywhere. I'm the same person. This is one of my covenants. Take that thing down, right? I don't have me no problem at all. At all. Who am I seeking to please apart from my God? Okay. Jo Josiah did so, and he was spared the sight of the evil that the Lord determined to send upon Judah because of her great sins. I was studying the book. I was studying Deborah, you know, and stuff like that throughout uh, my period there. And at the time, Deborah rose as a judge. She was first a prophetess, and then a, she was the wife of Lapidot, and then she was a judge. Frankly speaking, no, 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 that's something else. The people had all backsliding. 
you know the last great judge and um, Ehud had died and they knew no more rest because they had backsliding they were worshiping all kinds of idols and stuff and so well the lord was like who am i going to raise again he needs to see your willingness and there was no man there was no man in all of israel only deborah my goodness a woman oh my goodness yeah there was another man barang when he was there in the chicken coop until the point when deborah called him he said if you will not go with me i will not go okay oh. but at that time jo josiah did so and he was spared the sight of the evil that the lord determined to spend upon judah because of her great sins do you have this tenderness do you practice this self humiliation if so you also will be spared in the evil day god sets a mark upon the people who mourn and cry because of the sin of the times ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 the lord knows ah many a night i wake up here I'm, 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 I'm like anyway he has told me the more you intercede for others the more i am mindful of your own needs my girl so don't talk to me all the time about you and what you need and all of those things if you tell me once that's enough any time of the day but intercede pray for people whether they ask you to pray for them or not pray for them okay the destroying angel is commanded to keep his sword in his sheet until the elect of god has sheltered these people are best known by their god fear and their trembling at the word of the lord at the time threatening does unbelief advance with great strides and you dread national chastisement upon this sinful nation i do you can rightly do so yet rest in this promise i will gather you to your fathers and you will be gathered to your grave in peace and your eyes will not see all the evil which i will bring on this place second kings 22 verse 20 hey papa may this be my portion no, i don't want to live forever i really want to I, I really want to be gathered to my fathers and i want to rest in peace and I don't want to see the evil. Uh -uh. Some people are saying if the Lord tarries to come. Me, I want. I don't want to even see him. My goodness. Uh -uh, it will be terrible. Ah, some places are worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Father, I beg you, spare me. Better still, the Lord himself may come. And then the days of our money will be over. Huh? And that's how it's going to work out, Father. Who am I, right? Okay, that was it for morning devotion. Oh, Father, thank you so much. Yeah, we said before noon. <laughs> Oh, my God has done me well, I give him praise. My God has done me well, I give him praise. My God has done me well, oh, oh. my God has done me well, eh. I will praise him, praise him forever. Oh, my God has done me well, I give him praise. Father God, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for everything. On my knees, I thank you. I bless your holy name. Holy Spirit, you've just been so marvelous. What an instructor, what a teacher, what a helper, what a comforter, my paraclete, my sweet Jesus. I give you all the glory. Thank you. Thank you for all the answered prayers. It is in your mighty name that I pray this morning. Amen. Okay, tribe, see you for evening devotion. Now I can go and and rest and do whatever. I just give God all the glory. Yes, to him belongs it all. Blessed be Jesus Christ for all times. Amen.